Hello, Book Creator Common Contest students. Uh, this is Mr. Peterson, and this is a tutorial that's going to go over some Book Creator basics that you may not know um, that is going to help you kind of get started and work your way through the app. So you'll notice that I'm in the app and I'm in my home screen inside the Book Creator app. And the first place that I want to get to to start my book is Create a New Book. Be careful here. If you choose one of these top three choices, Portrait, Square, or Landscape, that have just the white backgrounds, you're going to find yourself unable to create a comic book. Uh, you'll notice on the bottom, you have options of a comic book layout. It's called 2-3 comic, 1-1 one, one comic, or 4-3 uh, comic. And those are just the sizes. You can choose any of those layouts you'd like as far as the portrait square or landscape. Completely up to you. Uh, I'm going to get started by just choosing portrait, and it will open for me. Once I am here, I'm going to be seeing my blank screen. I'm going to have a couple choices that I can get started with. Um, one of them is my plus button and my info button and my export button. The plus button is in the info button are where I'm going to be doing most of my work once I get started here. So we'll get started by clicking the info button. This is my cover page. It tells you what page you're on right up on top here. So if I click my info button, I right away have a choice to kind of make my cover look a certain way. I can choose any of these kind of given defaults. I can click on more. And then I have a whole bunch of choices. I can even click on more. And I can choose any color that's visible by the human eye. Um, I'm going to kind of back up here and, you know, go back into here. I can change the type of paper so it looks a little bit more parchment. You'll see that it does, you know, give you that look. It's kind of neat. You can go into something that looks a little bit more just like paper itself. You can go in and, you know, you obviously aren't going to be looking to do some of this, but you could add all kinds of different things to your work if you chose to do so. So I'm going to um, take these off. I'm going to go back and I'm going to get started by clicking on, let's say, I'll do this green. You'll notice it's got some texture and pattern to it. Um, you can do plain yellow. You can do a yellow texture pattern. You can do one of these. So those are your ways you could change the background of your page. You can um, change some of your settings. You can do all kinds of things. You can play with that. Um, if I get off of the info button and I click on the plus now, this is what I can add. You'll notice I can add panels. It's my cover page. I don't want to do that yet. I can add speech, thought. I'm Again, my cover page. don't want to do that. I can add text, which is probably what I would like to do. I could add sound as well. This is where you can add a recording if you'd like to make. If you click on the more button, you have choices of stickers, pictures that you may have taken. You could take an immediate picture with your camera roll, which I'm not sure many of us would be doing. You can use the pen tool to actually draw with your stylus, or you can add shapes, and you can explore those at your leisure. So I'm just going to get started by adding text. Your choices are these four types of text. Captions are not something I'd want on my title screen. I'm going to choose probably the title actual text, but any of these are editable. So if I choose title and I write my new comic book check your spelling please and you'll see it comes out I can drag this around using the dots I can move it up and down you'll see the handy dandy green lines that tell you you're centered now that I have it selected you could see I tapped on it it selects it if I go back to my info button here it allows me to edit I can change the size I can make it bold or italics or underline anything I'd like. I can change the font to anything I'd like. I can change the color of the font to anything I'd like. I can change the background of the font, which right now I don't want because I want it to be transparent. You'll see it makes it completely white or whatever color you choose. Um, I can even go in here and add a shadow to my text, which I kind of like. I can center it by choosing the center button for alignment. Uh, and that gives me some options. So if I unclick that, I can now move this, center it, and I'm in business. I can go down to the bottom. I can hit the plus again. I can add some more text. Um, I might just put regular text here, um, written and illustrated by Brent Peterson. Done. You'll notice that it pops up in my screen here, and that's way too big. I'm going to hit info. I'm going to make my font much smaller. I'm going to change it to possibly yellow. I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, maybe leave it the way it is for now, and I'm going to move it down on the bottom. If I have uh, 
something else I'd like to add, I can. If I have an image I want to put in the background, I can do that. I can do anything I'd like for my cover screen to look better. Maybe I want my font to be a little bit bigger here. And I can go ahead and do that. I can widen it out a little bit and see what happens. And you know what? I kind of like where I'm at. I'm going to leave it. Whether I like my colors or not are totally your choice. You can choose anything you'd like. I am now going to hit the right arrow. And you'll notice right on top, it says pages two and three of five. I have five pages total. Cover, two, three, and then the next page, if I hit the arrow again, is four, five. If I want to add more pages, remember, 11 is my max. I can hit plus, plus, plus. I now have all 11 pages that I can flip through. If I click on the page button, I can click to the next page that I want to go to, and it'll take me there. So if you click on pages, you can flip to whatever pages you want to get to. I'm going to go to my next two, three. This is where I want to start making it look like a comic book. Plus, I'm going to hit panels. I'm going to choose the layout that I want. I want to start with this maybe. I can go into info, and again, the background, I can change to make it fit my needs. Maybe I want to go with something very uh, light. I want to go to just a basic paper. And now I can choose from my camera roll and add in pictures of whatever it is I want in that area. I can add a camera here. I can go to my next thing. I can do a bunch of things, obviously, you can tell. I can even click on here again. Uh, I can go to my camera roll and I can find maybe a background that I want to put in. Uh, let's do this for now. I click on it, info, move back. And because I can move that back or move it up, I'm going to be able to kind of adjust uh, what I see or what I don't see um, based on what my work is showing. You may want to work on layering in a different app. Um, that way you're going to have the ability to kind of, uh, you know, add a couple different things to the same. There we go. I'm going to drop him in. Make him nice and small. And you'll see that I have um, in the background walking towards me at Fenway Park um, a Star Wars Sith Lord. And I don't know he's coming. So I can now go ahead and have speech. I can say, what a nice day this is. I can change that font. I can do anything I'd like when it comes to those types of things. I can leave this. I can change that around. I can now even add thought. Um, he doesn't. No. I'm coming. Ha. 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 All right. I'm going to put this back here. I'm going to shrink it down so it's a little bit smaller and it fits in there. I'm going to add this here and I'm going to put that like that. Okay. You'll notice I have a line showing up here. That's like what I'll see. So I may want to move that down. And I can add all this around. I can even go in here and add a, uh, another panel down here where I will take and put myself in and you get the idea, right? So that's how you add content to your screen, speech bubbles, that type of stuff. Play around, figure out how you're telling your story. You're going to continue to do this throughout. If you get to a point where you add some panels and you want those panels to be different, you could hold your finger down on it and hit cut and then you can add a text to that screen by adding text. You can do a caption, you can just regular text and this is where I will add to my story. And if I do that and I hit done, I can move this over here, I can then change my font to whatever it is I'd like it to be, I can make it fit. I can do all kinds of things by changing whatever it is I want and I can move this so it does fit over here and I can add more of the actual text to my story. So you have choices, you have options, you can play around. This is the basics of the app. Um, have fun creating. I hope you uh, find this useful.